Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tuesday, December 15th. Uh, we're going to be working on Lesson 22 in our books today, and that has to deal uh, with prime and composite numbers, and you're going to learn what that means. But really, it's just talking about multiplication facts. So everybody's going to need their multiplication fact chart from your binder today, because we're going to be referring to it a lot. So Lesson 22, uh, we're going to start right with page 145. First in my video, I'm going to go over what a prime and composite number is. Then we're going to do page 145 and 146. And your exit ticket today is page 147. And there's uh, three problems. Uh, and what we're going to do is you're going to have to tell me the factor pairs for each number. And then the second part of the question will be whether it's prime or composite. Okay? So have a good day and lesson 22 for today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get started in our workbook, I want you to copy down a couple definitions. Uh, the first thing that we're going to learn about today, well, we've learned about factors, right? And those are those two numbers that we multiply together to get another number, right? Two factors. Factors are the numbers you multiply to get another number. Like 3 times 5 is 15. 3 and 5 are my factors. Then we're going to learn about prime numbers. Now, prime numbers are numbers that have exactly two factors. What are the factors of three? Example, one and three. So there's only one way when you multiply to get three, and it's one times three. There's no other way you can get three other than one times three. Now, because, has, because three has exactly two factors, we call that a prime number. Then we have what's called composite numbers. Now, most numbers that you are going to come across are composite numbers. And what does composite number mean? Those are the numbers that have more than two factors. For example, the number 6. Well, you can have 1 and 6, just like 3, just like a prime number, but you also can get 6 by 2 times 3. Now, because 6 has more than two factors, it's called composite. Now, just an aside, the numbers 0 and 1 are considered neither prime nor composite. So, prime numbers, only one set of factors, one and itself. Composite numbers have more than one pair. Now, 6 has two pairs. Uh, you can have some numbers like 12, uh, 24, that have lots of pairs of factors, and we're going to work on some of those today. So, on page 145, everyone needs to copy... On page 145, go to the blank sheet, 144 on the other side of it, and copy down the definition of factors, prime numbers, and composite numbers right now so you have these definitions. So right next to page 145 on that big blank white sheet, everybody copy down what you see on the screen right now, and then pause this while you copy. Okay, here is a multiplication grid, and you all have one in your binder. And let's take a look. Uh, we are going to make the prime numbers red and composite numbers blue. Now, most numbers are composite. So we'll go through these. Like, the only way to get 1 is 1 times 1. 2 is an odd thing because most even numbers, as a matter of fact, all even numbers can be mul something but can be multiplied by 2 to get all even numbers except 2. 2 is pretty much the only even number that is prime. So that's an odd kind of uh, number. But now we know that 1, 3, we know 1 times 3, 5. The only way to get it is 1 times 5, 7. The only way to get it is 1 times 7. So it looks like there's a pattern like odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7. You would think 9, but not prime, because 9 you can get from 1 times 9, but remember, you can also get 3 times 3. So because there's more than one pair, that makes 9 a composite number. Now, we said most even numbers are composite, so I just made all the even numbers. All the ones with 2 in the 1's place, 4's, 6's, 8's, 0's, those are all composite.
So I made them blue. Now, also the fives. Well, anything times five with a five in the ones place, we know that's going to be composite because like 15, yeah, one times 15, but also three times five. 25, you'll have five times five. 35, seven times five. So all the fives in the ones place, anything with five in the ones place or zero in the ones place, all composite. So that leaves us with some of these. So let's think about these. Now we know nine was composite. Ten is composite because it's even, but it also is a five, two times five. Eleven, well that's prime. There's only one way to get eleven, one times eleven. Twelve, that's composite because there's one times twelve, but there's also two times six, three times four. What about thirteen? How many ways to get thirteen? Well, there's only one. One times thirteen, that's it. Then seventeen. One times seventeen, that's the only way to get seventeen. Nineteen. One times nineteen. Twenty-one. Well, there's one times twenty-one, but there's also three times seven, so that makes that composite. So this is a chart of the prime and composite numbers, and what I'm going to do is, in years past, I had you, ladies and gentlemen, color these in, and we did it in class. But I'm going to send everybody this sheet to print out. So all the blue numbers are composite, all the red numbers are prime. So if you can print this out, you'll, you will have this to help you with the following lessons. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now on page 145. It says record the factors, so those are all the numbers multiplied together to get these products, of the given number, so they're giving you a number, and make a list of the factors least to greatest. Then they want us to say in the last column whether it's a prime number or composite. The first one is done for us, so we know four. So how do you get four? So Let's just highlight what they're at, the four. And then they want us to do six, and then seven, and then nine, and then 12, and then 13. So how do you get four? Well, you can get four by one times four, but you can also get two times two. So because it has two pairs of factors, we're gonna call that composite. Remember, if it has two pairs, if it only has one, it's prime. So the factors of four you go through the list and you say, okay, so one, two, and four are the factors. Now, I know they do two twice, but one, two, and four, they just want a list. Let's do six. Well, we know you can get six by one times six. Is there any other way to get six? Well, there is. The other pair is two times three, right? Two times three gets a six. So more than one pair means it's composite. So this one is composite because there's more than one pair. And what are the factors? We'll go through the list. One, two, three, and six are the factors. So one, two, three, and six are the factors of six. One, two, three, and six. Now what about seven? Well, how can you get seven? Well, there's one times seven is there any other way to get seven? No, only one times seven. So numbers where there's only one pair of factors, remember we call those prime. And now most numbers are gonna be composite. There'll be very few numbers that are prime, but we'll look at that list and you'll see. Actually, we'll count exactly how many are prime out of 100. Now, so what are the factors of seven? Well, the factors are just one and seven. One and seven. Okay, so that makes that prime. Now let's look at nine. Well, we know one times nine is nine, but there's also three times three. So two pairs makes that one composite. And the factors are one, three, and nine. Then we have 12. Well, there's one times 12, but there's also three times four, two times six. So three pairs makes that composite. See, we already see there's more composites than there are prime. Now, what are the factors of 12? We'll find all the numbers that somehow are multiplied to get 12. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And I put them in order. They want it from least to greatest. And the last one, 13. Well, the only way to get 13 is 1 times 13. 
So that makes that prime. And the factors are just 1 and 13. So that's how you find out whether another number is prime or composite. You look at the factors. So everybody copy that down, A through F, pause your video, and copy that down now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still on page 145, and now I'm heading from G all the way down to L. <clears throat> so the first thing I did is I just put 1 times the product because we always know you can get anything times 1. So 15, 1 times 15, 16, 1 times 16, 18, etc. So first thing I did is I copied those straight down and just did 1 times the number itself. Now, taking a look, the bigger the numbers get, the less prime there are usually. So let's go through these. Well, 1 times 15, is there any other way to get it? Well, there's 3 times 5, right? So 3 times 5. So that means two factors. It can't be prime. Only when it's 1 times itself is it prime. So this one is going to be composite. So again, you list the factors in order from least to greatest. So 1, then 3, then 5, then 15. So the factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now 16. Well, I know I can get 1 times 16. Well, since it's an even number, it's going to be 2 times something, right? So every even number can be, can be found by multiplying 2 by something. So in this case, it's 2 times 8. So that's 1. Are there any more? There's one more. There's 4 times 4. So this has three pairs, so again, another composite. So the factors are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16 are the factors. Now 18. Let's figure that one out. Well, we know 1 times 18, but again, even number, so it'll always be 2 times something. And what is it? 2 times 9. Are there any more? Ooh, there's one more. How about 3 times 6? And what you could do is you can go, and I'll show you in a second, you can go back to your multiplication grid and just look for 18 and then find the pairs. So 3 times 6. So more than 1, it's going to be composite again. And the factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now 19. Ooh, there's only one way to get 19. Just 1 times 19. Ooh, there we go. We do have a prime. And 21. Well, there's 1 times 21, but there's also 3 times 7, right? 3 times 7. So 1, 3, 7, and 21. That makes that one composite. And 24 has a lot. It has 1 times 24. It has 2 times 12. It has 3 times 8. It has 4 times 6. There's actually a lot of pairs. You can fill those in yourself if you wanted. So you could just do 2 times, you could do 2 times 12. Then you can do 3 times 8. And then finally, 4 times 6. That is going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 different pairs. <clears throat> so pause your video and fill that out now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you your exit ticket is page 147. Uh, and also, I'm going to show you how to use your multiplication chart that I gave you to find factors and whether it's prime or composite. Now, yes, I'm going to send you the prime and composite list if you can print it out. But when you're finding factors, let's say, for example, you're looking for the factors of 12. So what you do is you go to your multiplication chart and you find 12 somewhere in the field and I found 12 right here. So I know that 12 is 3 times 4 because I work my way over so it's 3 times 4 are factors of 12. Well there's another one down here right? So that would be 4 times 3 is 12. There's another one over here so that would be 6 
times 2 is 12. So that's how you use this chart to find factors, like 56. You would go down to 56, over to 56. So there's 56 I found in the field, and I could see that it's 8 times 7. So that's how you use your multiplication chart to find factors, and you could also find prime and composite numbers using that as well. Especially, uh, you're going to be using this sheet that I'm going to email you, and this just gives you all the prime numbers. They're all the ones in red, and then all the composite numbers are in blue. So use that sheet, and you can use that to do the exit ticket, which is page 147. So that's it for today. Have a good night, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, tomorrow everyone is going to be doing uh, the second iReady mini diagnostic. You did it last week, and you're going to do another one for about 15 minutes in your small group in the morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, secret number for today, nine, because that's how many Browns wins there are. We didn't win last night, so we don't have 10. We still have nine, but nine is good too. Okay, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen.